the peregrine falcon was once listed nationally as an endangered species dating back to the 1960s from DDT poisoning. More modern days they've been delisted nationally, however there's still some midwestern states such as Missouri that consider it an endangered species for that particular state. And here in Missouri we're trying to ban falcon chicks as well as adults when possible in order to get a better accurate determination of what's going on with our local population. Today's destination is KCPNL Iatan's generating station, where we have a peregrine falcon nesting box on top of the smokestack. It's approximately 350 to 360 feet in the air. Uh, we will be pulling four chicks out of the box, banding those chicks, then putting them back in the box so that they can go on about their lifestyle. Process went very well. Uh, standard operating procedure like normal. Uh, the chips appeared to be healthy, which means they're on a good diet. They have a good set of parents. Uh, we had three females and one male apparent in the nest, which is a good hatch for this year. 100% success rate on hatching. There were four eggs to begin with, so thus far we are happy with everything. Bringing the peregrine falcon back means a great deal to not only conservationists, but I think the general public as well. It's one of our best predators when it comes to wrappers. It is the fastest, essentially the fastest animal in the world. They have been clocked at 260 miles per hour when they dive after prey species. But what this means, this banning process that we're doing, it's not just Missouri that's doing it. It's many states throughout the Midwest and we're all working in collaboration with each other because this is all of the same population here in the Midwest that we have from Minneapolis all the way to Ohio in Nebraska, all these states far and in between, Iowa and Illinois, we all band these birds together as one team. Uh, and I think with the web cameras coming on, we have web cameras here in Missouri, there's web cameras in Nebraska as well as Minneapolis. It's allowing folks to view these birds from basically a full book, from the front cover to the back cover. When the birds first arrive in March, all the way through the hatching process and all the way through the rearing process up until the birds fledge and fly away during the month of June.